Howdy and hello folks, my name is Christian Sasser, but you can call me MH4, and New Super Mario Bros. Wii was a ubiquitous title among Wii owners back in the day. The hectic multiplayer combined with the awesome new power-ups makes it an iconic staple of any family with a Wii. This video isn't about the game itself, however. While the new soup games are an interesting subject, I'm more interested in this copy of the game specifically. You see, I found this copy of the game because somebody donated it to my church's thrift store, and I picked it up on a whim, but something seemed uncanny about it. As I was walking out of the store, I decided to inspect the box and lo and behold, this, oh, lo and behold, this copy of the game was intended for sale in a different region. My first question was, how did this get to my local thrift store? And since I have literally no way of answering that question, my second question was, is this even a real copy of the game? And turns out, yes it is. This is a real copy of New Super Mario Bros. Wii that's intended for use in Singapore, Malaysia, UAE, and Saudi Arabia. I apologize if I mispronounce anything. First of all, let's take a closer look at this box and compare it with the United States version, which I'm more familiar with. The first major thing I noticed is that the alternate languages on the box are the same as the United States, French followed by Spanish. I'm no expert in any of the four regions this game was meant for use in, so if anyone has an answer on why French and Spanish are also used here, let me know with a comment. My guess is that it has to do with the ESRB still rating this version. The first difference is in the contact information for Nintendo. In the US version, we see the American customer service phone number listed in each of the three languages. However, this copy has contact information for the distribution company bringing the game to those four countries. That company being, again, sorry if I butcher the pronunciation, Active Boyki KK. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The only other major differences are this green stripe in the bottom left hand corner and the gobbledygook in this gray text box here. And the fact that the US version is made in the US while this version is manufactured in Japan. Looking at the game disc itself, the only difference found is the four use countries. The North American version can be used in the United States, Canada, Mexico, or Latin America, while this copy can be used in the aforementioned countries of Singapore, Malaysia, UAE, and Saudi Arabia. I've also got in here two box inserts. I'm not sure if anything was removed before I bought it. This is what it came with. First, we have these instructions on how to download the game's digital manual from Nintendo.com. And at the time of writing this in May of 2023, uh, that link still works. And I was able to navigate that website and find downloadable PDFs of the game manuals for a ton of Wii games, including New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And I was able to download them in English, French, or Spanish. It was kind of awesome. The other box insert is the customer service information for the four regions that this game is compatible with. We have the contact info for Active Boyki Keke, followed by the information for each of the companies selling the game in each region. We can see here that Maxsoft PTE Limited is selling the game in Singapore. MMSoft Malaysia SDN BHD is selling the game in Malaysia. Active Golf FZCO is selling the game in UAE, and Shah Samurai Co. is selling the game in Saudi Arabia. Interestingly enough, the companies selling the game in both Singapore and Malaysia have Maxsoft Online email addresses, and the company selling the game in UAE and Saudi Arabia lists Nintendo directly in their email addresses, followed by their respective companies. All right, so you may be wondering, MH4, what's the big deal? So what? Nintendo makes games for other regions than Japan, Europe, and North America, and they ship them out there using different distribution methods. Who cares? And you know what? I agree with you. You're right. It's not that big of a deal. However, finding this mysterious copy of Mario Wii was incredibly fascinating, and not only did it lead me to wonder how did this end up in Louisiana of all places, but it gave me an excuse to research how Nintendo does their business in a region that's not my own. It can be easy to take for granted just how large and diverse the world is. And I think that by exploring how a gaming company <laughs> distributes their games in a region that's not my own is a small but effective way to kind of expand my horizons and really bask in all the small details of how large and diverse the world is. Have you ever found a game out of place like this? How do you think this got to my local area? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and remember, it's a big wide world out there or something. I don't know. Uh, I just wanted to talk about Mario. I'm trying to force a lesson into this, so just pretend like you learned something. <laughs>
it's a great big universe and we're all really puny just a tiny little speck like the size of mickey rooney is mickey rooney a real person what the heck i thought i why am i surprised he, he's he's referenced by yakko and the animaniacs in that one song i always assumed he was like making a pun on macaroni was he short mickey rooney height <laughs> he's five two that makes that joke so much funnier 